Fox Sports Northwest presents Pac-10 basketball. It's the Washington Huskies and the 17th ranked Arizona Wildcats. Hi again, everybody, and welcome along with former Washington Husky standout Jason Hamilton. I'm Chris Marlowe. Welcome to the McHale Center. We have some breaking news for you. Wildcats standout uh, Salim Stoudemire has been suspended indefinitely. They won't tell us why, but he's not going to play tonight. Their leading score. This has got to hurt the Cats. Oh, no question about it. It clearly hurts their depth. It's going to put a lot of pressure now on the guards and Channing Fry. He's the X factor. He's the guy that's got to get it done for them. Certainly a big game in the Pac-10. As you look at the Pac-10 standing, Stanford, the number one team in the nation. This is, in essence, a battle for second place. Clearly it is. It's a battle for positioning, too, in the Pac-10 race. Not only that, but for Washington, it's also, if they want to get into the Pac-10 tournament, the postseason tournament, they need a win here tonight. The Huskies, despite the loss to North Carolina State on Sunday, have been playing good basketball. They've won 8 out of 10, and Nate Robinson has had an outstanding year. Well, Nate Robinson is a phenomenal player. If you haven't seen him, he brings out that wow factor. He's a high riser at 5'9". He's hit big shots for Washington all year long. He basically carries the team. He is a high scorer, a big leaper, a clutch player, and it's no doubt that the Huskies have started to roll since Nate Robinson was inserted into the starting lineup. He scored 31 points against the Cats the first time around. What's his game? plan tonight. Well, you know what? He's an attacker. He's going to attack. Now with Salim Stoudemire out, it's not going to change his game too much, but he's going to take it right at him. All right. Uh, Arizona and Washington. The rematch is next. Can the Washington Huskies beat Arizona twice in one season? They haven't beaten them here since Jason Hamilton was a standout back in 1996. We'll find out. The Huskies and the Cats are next. Chris Marlowe and Jason Hamilton. A long running series between the Arizona Wildcats and the Washington Huskies. This will be the 53rd meeting. Arizona leads it 36 to 16. The Cats have won eight out of the last nine. However, on January 29th, Washington, very, very impressive, Jason. Yeah, no question. They came out ready to play. But this is a totally different story here at the McHale Center where they haven't had much success. We referenced that earlier. Uh, in the open about 1996 being the first time they had, had a win here in such a long time But you know their last 19 visits They've only won that one time so a whole different atmosphere this evening. The Washington Huskies have finally settled on a lineup And it's been pretty steady uh, throughout the second half of the season Bobby Jones and Mike Jensen up front Jensen improving Jones is a star and of course, Nate Robinson, Brandon Roy, and Will Conrad, the athletic uh, triumvirate of guards. Lorenzo Romar in his second season. Mike Montgomery's going to be the Pac-10 coach of the year, but if he wasn't, I would vote for Lorenzo Romar. He has done a spectacular job of turning this Washington program around. The Arizona starting lineup, they only have really six serviceable players without Stoudemire. Adams, Fry, and Iguodala are up front. Mustafa Shakur and Chris Rogers moving in to the starting lineup. In case you missed it, Salim Stoudemire out for the game, suspended indefinitely. Lou Olson, of course, the Pac-10 Coach of the Year seven times, the nation's best winning percentage in the last 16 years, 81%. So the Huskies come in a very confident bunch. As we mentioned, they've won eight out of 10, and we're expecting to see warp speed basketball tonight, run and gun. Well, you have two of the top scoring teams in the Pac-10 with the number one and number two teams. I expect these guys to get up high-flying action, playing above the rim, knocking shots down from beyond the arc. It should be a fun, fun game to watch. So the Huskies with Jones, Jensen, Robinson, Roy, and Conroy. Nate Robinson will start on Mustafa Shakur. And the Cats just about ready. The Cats has not been... A season to remember for the Arizona Wildcats. They opened the season ranked fourth. They are already down to 17th. They have six Pac-10 losses. And Lorenzo Romar and his coaches hoping to take advantage of a sliding cat team. Yeah, All right. 
I spoke to Lou Dosen before the game, and he said consistency has been the problem for them. They haven't found a group that has done it night in and night out. Obviously, with the Salim Stoudemire out, let's see what this group can do. Here we go, Cats and the Dogs. From the McHale Center, Robinson on Mustafa Shakur. The two top scoring teams in the Pac-10. Channing Fry is going to be covered initially by Mike Jensen, 6'8", 240. Washington, typically a man-to-man -man team. They're going to play a little bit of zone, but right now it's sticking with that man-to-man -man that they traditionally do. Iguodala, too strong. Adams with the offensive rebound. Someone's got to block out Hassan Adams. He's a 6'4", sophomore leaper from Los Angeles. And Brandon Roy is the leading rebounder for Washington. He's, he's one of the uh, guys that really has done a great job of rebounding the basketball. Mike Jensen, Anthony Washington, when he comes in, they got to do a better job of getting on the glass. We've got a hold called away from the ball. Let's give you our officials. Dave Libby is the crew chief, one of the most respected officials in basketball. Randy Burkhart, Mike Eggers. So Channing Fry. is going to get the first basket of the game. You know, we talked about that in the open. Channing Fry, that X factor, he's a guy that Arizona's going to rely on to score. You look to see him do some big things early. They went right at him. He took it right to the post. Easy jump hook for, for Arizona to score, too. Robinson, three. Jones with an athletic rebound, and he travels. You can see early Nate Robinson, he's going to be that aggressive player that he's been throughout the season. A wide open look from the three-point land. He's going to take that. You just got to look for him to knock that down. Arizona averages 88 points a game. Washington averages 81 points a game, and they both give up a lot of points. Washington, not a big physical team, but aggressive. Rodgers to Fry, and Fry off the window. Solid execution. Faster tempo benefits which team, do you think? You know what? I spoke to Lute Olsen about that as well. He, he, they, both the guys said that playing fast doesn't necessarily affect either one of the teams. It's more who can get stops when it really matters. A turnover to the Huskies. And it's going to be Wildcat ball. So now full court pressure by the Washington Huskies. Andre Iguodala having a great sophomore season, averaging 13 points a game. And the Huskies with a steal and a foul on the ground. Mustafa Shakur will pick up his first personal. So it's Husky ball. Four nothing Arizona. Just the start of our ball game here on Fox Sports Northwest. Glad you're with us. Arizona opening up. They played a lot of zone this year. They only went seven deep. Now they're six deep for the absence of Shakur. And you can see two minutes in, they're already changing up defenses. Shot blocked out of bounds. So the Huskies have it. Arizona crowd revved up for this one because of the loss last time. Nice dish inside. And Channing Fry, he's going to be a big presence in the middle. You're not going to be able to take that easy look right to the basket. You've got to be cognizant of where he is at all times. Channing Fry, the leading shot blocker in the Pac-10, 2.2. Huskies. And Adams with a rebound. So the Huskies open up with some cold shooting. Iguodala missed it. Jones with the rebound. Jones averaging five rebounds a game, which is okay. And now Conroy handling out in front, 12 and a half points a game. You know, Bobby Jones is one of those guys that does so many other things for the Huskies. He had a great game at, at North Carolina State this past weekend. He's kind of the glue to their team. He, he mix it up. He scraps. He's going to guard different players, but uh, they need his energy. Roy dumps it in low. Three ball for Roy. Huskies may be a little bit too pumped up. A lot of shots going long early, and it's going to be a wildcat ball. And, you know, they had a long kind of travel schedule going all the way back to the East Coast to play North Carolina State, then back here then down to the desert. You know, these shots that they've taken early, they're not bad shots. I look for those guys to knock those down as this game progresses. Channing Fry. They say he'll play power forward when he gets to the NBA. And a nice dump down low to Hassan Adams. 16 and a half points this year. He's got his first two. Well, he's an athletic freak. If you've seen him, he's a lot like Nate Robinson, a lot taller, but so explosive, so athletic. And he can get it done on the post. He can get it done from outside. That's a tough cover for any Washington player. 
Rodgers in transition. Nice shot. Chris Rogers, a sophomore from Portland, Oregon. And the Huskies retaliate. So finally, Washington on the board. And eight nothing scoring run. And Washington getting that point, those points in transition, like we said, an up and down kind of tempo, the kind of tempo they want to play. They need to get those baskets and get those more consistently. Shakur, one of the most highly appointed point guards, recruited point guards in the nation. And the Huskies have it. Conroy. And Conroy will shoot two. One, uh, one way to get to Arizona, a lot of teams have done it, even Washington did it in the first meeting, is go to the basket and try to get some fouls on Channing Fry. Well, once Channing Fry is out of the game, it opens everything up. They don't have that depth. We talked about that in the open. With no one else really there, the, the basket is wide open. They can really exploit those guys down low. The problem for Washington is they haven't had a consistent low post presence. Mike Jensen can do some things down there, but he likes to step out and shoot the jumper. Here comes Anthony Washington. Anthony Washington and Rome are very, very high on Washington. Had stomach cramps, was sick in the second half of the North Carolina State game. And, and Dave Libby. Mike Jensen getting called for the lane violation there. Stepped out. So it's not a good start for the Washington Huskies. At the first break, the Huskies trailing by six. Eight two. The Arizona Wildcats, uh, and a good look at Hassan Adams wearing the bright red headband, second leading scorer on the squad, and now uh, Chris Rogers will handle. Average twenty six and a half points as a high school senior. He's in a deadly outside shooter now. Zone being thrown up by the Huskies, and interestingly, right before the game, I had a chance to talk to Romar, and he said the effect of Stoudemire being out. We may play more zone because he won't be able to stretch with the three-point shooting. And that's a great philosophy. Obviously, that's going to put more pressure on Mustafa Shakur, Chris Rogers, Hassan Adams, those guys that have to fill it up from the outside. Washington's very athletic on the perimeter. They can cover spaces and get out there and cover you. Trey Simmons is in, the junior from Seattle, who's uh, been up and down this year, quite frankly. He's had some very good games, had some scoring spurts. But as any Juco player will tell you, it takes a little while to adjust. Wide open jumper. And you cannot leave Bobby Jones, the sophomore from Compton. He hits. And it's eight to four. And Bobby Jones has been on a nice little tear the last few games. He coming off a, he's coming off a 22-point performance over there in North Carolina State. But again, no answer on the block for Channing Fry and the Washington Huskies. They got to find a way to stop him, or else this game is going to take an ugly turn fast. And the ball knocked out of bounds, last touch by a cat. And so the Huskies will have it. The Huskies are 13 and 10. In the Pac-10, they are 8 and 6, but they can move into undisputed second place. Well, the Pac-10's been balanced. It's been down a little bit this year, that's for sure. Any team can beat any other team on a given night, with the exception of Stanford. 10-4, our score. Cats up by 6. Robinson, three-point ball, yes. From Jason Hamilton range, about 24 feet. <laughs> and it's 10 to 7 now. Well, I tell you, Nate can fill it up. He missed that one early, but you knew it wasn't going to last long. He's going to be able to put it up and put it down in the hole. Rogers double pumps, and that's going to be a bucket. So Chris Rogers has been a lot better than expected. Remember, he's the third guard, usually with uh, Shakur and Stoudemire. He's got to get some good form, doesn't he? He sure does. And, you know, this ball looked like it almost looked like Chaney Fry was the one to tap that out. But you see that Bobby Jones hand was the one that was through the cylinder. Good call by the officials. That's a bucket. The five-point cat lead. 
Cats love to stay in the zone in the first half, try to shorten the game. and want to keep Channing Fry, big number 45, out of foul trouble. And that's a pass that you have to be very careful about making because if you get Arizona in that transition, they will kill you. Well, they're not the number one scoring team in the Pac-10 for no reason. I mean, they can do some things on the perimeter just like the Huskies. They're very quick. They're very athletic. Mustafa Shakur is very long. He's a great guy to have in the top of the keys. Dropping it in, Brandon Roy. Roy, a sophomore, very young Washington Husky team. And the score tightens up. It's a three-point advantage. Adams against Jones. Iguodala is an improving shooter, but this is his range. In and out, nice rebound. Anthony Washington, a kid who has a chance to be a big star, according to Lorenzo Romar. Roy, bring it back out. Pumping is Robinson. Huskies on the glass, and they'll bring it out. Simmons, and he's coming up short. Trey Simmons, and the Wildcats nursing a three-point lead at 12-9, and Washington with a hole. So a tough matchup for Anthony Washington, 6-9 out of Seattle, putting up modest numbers. The thing about Channing Fry on the block, he is so active. He's going to make the defender work every single time they have an offensive possession. He goes block to block. He takes out great space in the middle. And if you're not in standing position, you're going to get some fouls called on you. Jason Rainey, the third guard, the 6'4", uh, senior from Tulsa. And the Cats with the inbound play. And Channing Fry converts. Good example there of Channing Fry just kind of outworking Anthony Washington on the glass. Anthony Washington kind of falling asleep a bit. Channing Fry slides underneath him, picks up an easy offensive rebound in a bucket. 14 to nine. Cats are very athletic on the offensive glass. You have to block out. It's not enough. Uh, Trey Simmons, yes. Simmons, a streak shooter. Had 21 points in 20 minutes in a game earlier this year. He can really get it going. Boy, those streaks can be real long. Trey Simmons having 50-point games in junior yep. college, and when that stroke is on, it is on. Two of them. Here's Andre Iguodala, the sophomore from Springfield, Illinois. Nice pass. That's Channing Fry. So Fry with six early, and Arizona punches its lead back up to five. Well, you knew Channing Fry was going to be that X factor. You knew he was going to take some of that burden when Sal with Salim Stoudemire out of the game, and there's no question he's elevated his game tonight. Inside Washington, pump it out to Simmons for three. Whoa, that's rotation, baby. And I tell you, it's the sweet follow through at yeah. the end. Trey Simmons, if he gets it going, watch out. He's a zone buster. Simmons has got five. It's a 16 to 14 advantage. Huskies look very confident against this talented squad. Arizona may have the best starting five in America, but they have virtually no depth on the bench. Adams missed it. Washington rebound. Huskies can run it up. Curtis Allen. Simmons, he's just, he's just so anxious to shoot the ball. He's got to calm down just a little bit. Now, Trey Simmons off the bench with five. Arizona led at one point by six. But the Huskies cutting it, and Channing Fry, as we expected, is going to be the man to stop tonight for the Huskies. Yeah, and he can do it in so many different ways. Great post position, soft touch. You know, a seven-footer who's long and lanky can get inside kind of the Tim Duncan-esque off the glass kind of thing. But you know what, the one thing he's really great at is blocking shots. And when he does that, he makes those defensive players around him so much better because he takes up that space. Channing Fry, he's got 20 career double-doubles. And Lorenzo Romar, his assistants, Ken Bone, Cameron Dollar, and Russ Cheney. Hey, he, he may not be the Pac-10 coach of the year, but he's the best dress coach in the Pac-10 <laughs> for sure. Looking a little sharp over oh, there, isn't man. he? Oh, man, Natalie attired, Lorenzo <laughs> Romo. It's a two-point advantage. Crowd revved up here in Tucson. You know, this, this is one of the best crowds, oh, you yeah. know, in the, in the league. You know, you talk about places around the Pac-10. The reason why it's so difficult to get a win here is because they have such a great home court advantage with the crowd. Jensen powers it up and in. And this is a kid that Washington has high hopes for, Mike Jensen, and he's getting some improvement. And Mike Jensen is so athletic. There's a lot of things that he does very, very well. If he just could develop his game to be more of a low post threat, 
he would be a phenomenal player for the Huskies. Huskies got off to a bad start. They were down 8-2, but now they're barking. It's 16-0. Against suspended indefinitely. We heard it was a fight or an altercation in practice with another teammate. What's the difference between a fight and an altercation, Jason Hamilton? Uh, somebody gets punched in the face real hard with a and, fight, and then somebody just is just pushing off, and then it's broken up. I think I, I think that's the best way to describe it. So Stoudemire shooting 60 and a half percent from the floor in the last five games. He's their leading scorer. He's career three-point percentage 44 and a half percent. So Lute Olson shorthanded tonight without Salim Stoudemire, and a good chance for the Huskies. Interestingly, Arizona, a 14-point favorite. I think that was before anybody found out that Stoudemire wasn't going to play. We should have called Nevada. <laughs> got, a, got a bad down. Man, the Huskies, a 14-point underdog, and right now, early going, we played nine and a half minutes, and we're tied at 16. Simmons pops it out to Curtis Allen, and he shoots an air ball. Cats led at one point, 16 to 11. But Trey Simmons coming off the bench with five, and we're tied. Yeah, it looks like a different Arizona team without Stoudemire throwing up three-pointers. Hassan Adams getting to the goal. So Adams has got four. The great thing about, like you said, is they have such a great starting lineup. Igudala, Adams, those guys can yeah. still do many things. Off the rim, Cats will run. Rodgers, Hassan Adams, a much improved outside jump shot. They wanted him to shoot with a higher trajectory, and so they've been working with him, and he gets the three-pointer and the quick timeout. And you can tell Coach Romar is very upset. Transition defense is going to be a key. Anytime Hassan Adams can get to the basket this easily, he uses that athletic ability to kiss it off the glass. But anytime he runs out in transition and can spot up and get his feet set, he is going to be completely dangerous. Washington shooting over 50% early. Arizona shooting 64%. The three-point field goals have not been very good, but everybody who's taking a shot inside the three-point line has scored. Well, you know, both these teams like to shoot the ball. They like to get up and down. Uh, Curtis Allen on that last possession for University of Washington kind of shot that air ball. He struggled a bit offensively. He, he hasn't kind of had the senior year that he probably would like to have. But you know what? He's an intangible guy. He can do some things in the locker room, and he can get over the hump when he needs to. Thought he was going to be a starter. He's had to come off the bench. That's a difficult adjustment for some players. He's the second best free thrower in Pac-10 history. So you want to see if you can get him to the free throw line. 21-16 as Arizona spurting with five quick points. Trey Simmons, too long. Hakeem Rollins in now for the Huskies. Iguodala, you gotta back off him. Good defense by Jensen. Fry. Hey, Fry's got a soft touch for a big guy, doesn't he? I saw him and Radinovich earlier at the shoot around today shooting probably some 25, 28 footers, and it looked good. There's no question that he's got a touch from 15, 17, maybe even to 20 feet. That's why he'll be a pro. 23-16, our score. Channing Fry, the leading scorer in the game with 12. Conroy, picked up by Fry. Conroy, a deep three, in and out, rebound to Iguodala. Iguodala averaging eight and a half rebounds a game, which is outstanding. Fry, that's too easy. Heck, I could score from down there. And again, it's that transition defense. Lorenzo Romar just called a timeout, had a little tongue lashing told Mike Jensen and those guys they got to get a better position down low. Chenny Fry just beats him down the court. Three ball, and it's answered. Curtis Allen, the senior, hits the clutch three. So 25-19 now. When you play with Arizona, you have to cut down those runs. You can't give them 10, 15-point runs. Rodgers for three. Huskies have it. Romar says, we want to run, but we want to get good shots out of it. Curtis Allen, he just hit one. Adams rebound. That might have been a little quick there. 
you know, a little quick, but I think Lorenzo Romo would take that from Curtis Allen. He needs to kind of find a rhythm. He hasn't had one. Uh, he missed that first one early, knocked down one, and I, I think he's okay with that. Huskies back in the zone. Remember, Romo said I'll play a lot of zone tonight, or at least more than I would have without Salim Stoudemire. Iguodala. And it's rejected by Hakeem Rollins. Send that back, baby. 25-19, Huskies. Hakeem saying, I'm back home, everybody. You better recognize. Rollins, a physical specimen. Simmons to Rollins. Plenty of time on the shot clock. The runner. And a basket by Will Conroy. Conroy with 19 points in the first Arizona game and a lead cut to four. You know, Will's done a great job this year of kind of leading this team. He's made some big shots, as has Nate Robinson. Uh, but he's done a great job of just kind of being that, that guy that, that everyone can look to, and, and he, he finds people when they need the basketball. Channing Fry, pitch it out to Rogers. Rainey for three. Got it. Jason Rainey hits the three. He can shoot. Conroy, and he'll shoot a couple. So Rainey, raining one in. Well, that's his specialty. If, 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 if Jason Rainey is in the game, you know you have to guard the three-point line. Great shooter's touch, great follow-through, great extension, and it hits the bottom of the rim. He's only tried eight three-pointers this year. And, of course, he's the fourth guard in the three-guard rotation. Conroy makes it. So Rainey now three of nine. And there he goes. And when you're playing behind the triumvirate that you talked about, you're not going to get a lot of playing time in this system. But he came in, he did his job, he yeah. knocked down a big three to extend the lead, and that's what you got to do. If you're a role player, find your role and do it well. One of two for Conroy, and it's a six-point Wildcat lead. Chris Marlowe, Jason Hamilton, glad you're with us as the Huskies trying to hang with the Cats. They did it the first time and beat them up in Seattle and a turnover. So Andre Iguodala trying to do a little bit too much. Cats turn it over. When we come back, it'll be Washington ball. Just a moment ago, Hakeem Rollins on Channing Fry. No, no, no. Uh, Huskies had it tied at 16, but then uh, Arizona going on a scoring run. It's now 28-22 Cats. Roy, nice dump. Jones dumps it in. You know, we spoke about the Washington Huskies not having that go-to low post present. It, it's been Brandon Roy. You see right there, he does a great job of finding people. The shot wasn't there for him. Great duck in, finds a guy, easy bucket for Washington. Bobby Jones has seven. Huskies changing defenses. Blowing by his man. Shakur with a rebound. Huskies have it. Got a run out. No, they throw it away. Iguodala for three. And Jensen can't secure the rebound, and he fouls Walters. So Jensen had his hand on it for a moment, and the youngster, Kirk Walters, a 6'10 freshman from Grand Rapids, Michigan, will shoot two. You know, that whole play started with a great strip by Nate Robinson, got it to Will Conroy. Will's got to see up the floor and know that, hey, there's guys out there that can pick that ball off. Bad turnover there by Washington. Walters rolls one in. He was the number 20 ranked prep center in the nation, according to FoxSports.com. He played at South Christian High School, kind of a late bloomer. And uh, Lute Olson thinks that this kid has a future. He's skinny as a string bean right now, but Lute will put the weight on him. He, he pumped those guys up in the weight room. There's no question he's got the skills. He, he looks like he's got the skills. Now, if he gets that way, he gets that physique, he's going to be a presence for them. Ivan Rodinovich is in, so Channing Fry out. A chance for the Huskies to take advantage here. So far, the, the Cats have done a pretty good job bottling up Nate Robinson. Robinson, long ball, whoa, and he hits again. So Nate Robinson, they list him at 5'9", but that's got to be on a big hair day. He looks like about 5'8", 
You know what I'm saying? And the Cats right back at you. No rest for the weary. A three-pointer by Nate Robinson. And then again, offense, or defensive transition. Washington caught sleeping. A nice, easy basket there by Andre Iguodala. You got to be aware where those guys are at all times. Nice pass, Roy. And the ball out of bounds. Is it the big men for Washington not getting back or the guards or a combination? It's a combination. It, it starts with the point guard. He's got to know he's got to take the deepest guy. Whoever is running back, he's got to cover him first. And then people got to fill in the gaps. Right now, they're not covering the guards. They're not covering the big guys. Iguodala is out. Hassan Adams back in. And the shot blocked. Roy got snuffed in there. Robinson. Jensen rebound, stumbles and travels. There, yeah, Jensen doing battle in there. The Huskies, you know, Jensen's their big man at 6'8", at least when Washington's not in, so they are undersized, but he is working hard. Channing Fry back in now. And it's so important to rebound out of the zone. It's one of the difficult things to do, both when you're, you're playing it defensively and when you're shooting against it playing offense. You gotta crash the glass and you gotta cover. 32-27, a five-point advantage. Conroy trying to get the five-second count, and it's off Walters, out of bounds. Remember, this is an Arizona Wildcat team that lost Isaiah Fox to a leg injury. Dennis Lattimore transferred because he didn't think he was going to get to play, and Andy Eby went right to the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves out of high school. So you think of what could have been with this squad. And yet, still, they're ranked 17th in the country. Yep. Jensen's off the mark, and going to get it is Rogers. Hassan Adams, round the back through the legs, got it. Hassan, the Westchester Flash, have a couple of years ago. The lead is seven now. Robinson, long, high three, and he is hammered by Mustafa Shakur. So let's check the foul situation on Shakur. Unofficially, we have three on Mustafa. So if that's true, he's going to have to come out. Mustafa Shakur with three. And this is a silly foul. You never want to foul a jump shooter, especially a three-point shooter. You want to get a hand up in your face. But as a freshman, you have to understand you have two fouls. Your bench is already really limited. Now he's picked up his third foul. He's put his team in a really serious situation. Huskies a pretty good free-throwing team at 70%. Of course, uh, Nate Robinson, uh, what do you have his percentage at? I didn't write his in. Nate Robinson, 85%. That'll get it done. That's why I didn't write it in. It's a highlight reel. So Robinson, he has eight points. Now Jensen will go out. Conroy goes out. As Lorenzo Romar substituting freely in a high-paced game, fast-paced. You need your subs to come in and play some minutes, and they have. They've done a great job. I think Lorenzo's got to be happy about his, his team right now, only down four points with less than four minutes to go in the first half. So the Washington Huskies hanging right with 17th-ranked Arizona. Huskies down by just four. The Huskies, uh, well, they trail by as many as nine. They've never led. They were down 8 nothing. fought back to 16-all, trailed 25-16, and now it's 34-30. Storylines, Salim Stoudemire unable to play. He's suspended indefinitely. Mustafa Shakur is on the bench with three fouls. So the Huskies have their chance here, trailing by four with 3.40 to play. Now Chris Rogers having to be the main ball handler for this offense. It'll be inter it's interesting to see where the basketball is going to go. Are they going to go right into Channing Fry, still continue to go into him, or are they going to try to get Andre Iguodala or Hassan Adams off? Yeah, Hakeem Rollins doing a pretty good job on Fry. Rogers comes up short, back to Rogers, in and out. Fry, Hakeem sends his second one back. Long jumper, and Washington can't get a defensive rebound. And the Huskies commit the foul. So this is going to be a storyline all night long. Can the smaller Huskies rebound against the you, Athletic Cats? And if you cannot get off defensive rebounds against this team, they are going to kill you. Obviously, Channing Fry is somebody that's going to be tipping the ball around. But 
you know, a nice job by Arizona just to stick to the basketball, knowing where they need to go, finally coming up with the play and getting a foul. Foul was on Bobby Jones, his first. Walters at the free throw line. A project. A good free throw shooter, though, 77%. Hasn't played uh, much. He's getting a little bit of Ivan Rudinovich's time now, the kid from Serbia, who came in and started off real well, but it's cooled off. And Rudinovich is a, another one of those guys, kind of like a Mike Jensen for the University of Washington, who doesn't really have the post player skills, but has the great outside touch. So off a of foot, Huskies have it. Huskies, Arizona tonight at Arizona State this Saturday, home to Cal and number one Stanford next week. Rollins is not an outside threat. They'd like to get him the ball under the basket if they can. We dipped under the three minute mark. Huskies are down by six. Rollins dumping it low. A three ball and a nice dish to Trey Simmons. Is Trey his real name? Trey is his real name. There you go. What a great name for a basketball player. Huskies take it away. 36 33, and Robinson fouled. I tell you what, there's no one in the United States that can effectively guard Nate Robinson. He is too quick and too fast. And if you get up on him, he's too tough. And when he gets that ball in the open court, he is going to run it as fast as he can. Another guy who did a bunch of great things in this building, Sean Elliott. You see that, that jersey retired up in the rafters. Some great players, especially point guards. Trey Simmons, he has been shooting well. The tip, no, another tip. And Jones goes and gets it. Not a particularly great defensive rebounding cat team either. Inside, high arch, and the Huskies getting the roll. So Brandon Roy gets the little runner, and it's a four points uh, for Roy and a one point advantage. Cats come right back. And again, there it is, Channing Fry getting such deep, low post position. Hakeem Rollins has got to do a better job of pushing him outside the block. If Channing Fry is able to get the ball two, three feet from the basket, you're not going to stop him. Fry's got 16. Robinson, another three. Wow, he's got some great rotation. And Lute Olsen going batty on the sideline. They gave up another three to Nate Robinson, who's got 12. Well, we knew it was going to be a high-scoring affair, 38 apiece. you got to love it. Washington has played effective defense on everyone but Channing Fry. Fry was 16 here in the first half. 38 all. Can Washington get its first lead? Robinson for the lead. Not yet. Rollins rebound. He's tied up with Channing Fry. And let's see how the officials call this. And it's against Fry. They call this the chicken wing in wrestling here. No question about it. You know, Hakeem Rollins is just trying to get the ball up in the air. Chaney Fry saying, hey, I got my ground held right here. You can't call me for that. Lou Olson giving the officials a little bit of piece of his mind. But uh, clearly, Hakeem Rollins had nowhere to go, and, and he has to call that one. Any foul on Channing Fry is a concern. Now Rollins goes out for the lead. Huskies take it away. Trey Simmons and a foul on Simmons. So Simmons over the back. The Huskies wet their chance. Let's reset the Husky lineup for you. Anthony Washington has come in. So Washington, the big man in there now. Nate Robinson, of course, Trey Simmons, and a 30-second timeout. So Lute Olson going to talk to his team about defense. That has been the biggest concern for the Cats this year. Poor defense. Yeah, they just haven't been consistent. You know, they have that centerpiece in the middle of uh, Channing Fry, who's swatting shots out of there. But, you know, they give up a lot for having such quick athletic guys on the perimeter. They give up a lot of transition threes. They give up a lot of kind of gap plays in the middle of the zone. And it has been their Achilles heel. The Huskies at one point, of course, you know they lost five in a row. The turning point of the season, according to Lorenzo Romar and everybody else, was when they beat Oregon State at Corvallis. They walked the ball up, they rolled it up the court, and Nate Robinson got the tying three-pointer, sent it into overtime, and then uh, the Huskies since then have been golden. That's one of those momentum builders. Oh, as soon man. as the confidence was there, as soon as they won that one, they exploded. And traveling. So the Cats with the turnover, and the Huskies, who have not let. Washington got behind eight to nothing, Arizona leading by as many as nine. And the Huskies with their chance right here. Can they do it? We're under a minute. Robinson 
Got a break, ball flew out of his hand right to Roy. Simmons for three, got it! And the Huskies on top for the first time. And this Arizona Wildcat defense giving up threes in bunches, 41-38. And Coach Olsen switched out of the zone to the man-to-man -man that time after they gave up so many threes, still got burned by it. Simmons has 11, and the foul inside. Hassan Adams is 6'4", but he is built with springs, and he is so difficult to defend. If you put a big guy on him, he'll go right around him too quick. If you put a smaller guy, he just jumps over. I tell you, he's got the booster pack in his calves. You look at those things, and those things are strong. If he can get the ball anywhere, close to the paint you better watch out because your head might get dunked on pac-10 all freshman team a year ago he's a 70 and a half for center concern on the arizona bench and of course salim stoudemire not in uniform tonight suspended indefinitely boy we'll have to see what that means the second one missed and rudinovich punches it out of bounds it should be husky ball it is so the huskies with 33 and a half seconds to go and up by two but well, the good thing for Washington is whether you take a shot or not, you're going into the break, hopefully with the lead, as long as you don't turn the ball over. Nate Robinson's the guy at the end of the half or into the shot clock. Nate Robinson, Brandon Roy, work it down Let's and see. look for him to make a play. Let's see if the Huskies can execute. Shot clock is off. Game clock at 15. Robinson. And he's going to be defended by Chris Rogers. Steal, Iguodala. Here go the Cats. Adams. Was that a three ball? Got it! And the Husky cannot execute. The Arizona Wildcats. Hassan Adams hitting the three. So the Huskies lack of execution. They will not go into the locker room with the advantage. Arizona leads at halftime. 42-41, so the crowd comes alive in the waning moments. Hassan Adams hits the three. We're coming back. Arizona leading 42-41. Welcome back, everybody, along with Jason Hamilton. I'm Chris Marlowe, Arizona leading by as many as nine. The Huskies fight back. They have a three-point lead. They blow the last play, but you have to say the Huskies play pretty pretty good basketball in that first half. You know what? If you're Lorenzo Romar, you got to be happy with your basketball team. You come into a hostile environment. You have a chance to take the lead. You blow that last little play, but you're right in this ball game. Now, at the top, we said Salim Stoudemire would not play, and he hasn't. Suspended indefinitely. That would put a lot of pressure on Channing Fry. Channing Fry really responding. Huskies really haven't had any answer for him yet. They really haven't. You know, that's been their Achilles heel all year long. They haven't had a great low post presence, either offensively or defensively. Channing Fry's taking great advantage of that. You got to look for him in the second half to go more right at him because the Huskies just don't have an answer. And certainly we talked about the presence of Nate Robinson. He was an important factor in the first half. And his threes from distance really had Lute Olsen in a tizzy. They did. And you know what? Nate's the kind of guy that once he gets a few going, he gets everybody else. He's kind of that guy that just sparks the whole entire team. <laughs> and they, uh, excuse me, Lute Olsen was not happy. Lorenzo Romar said, I'm going to play a little bit more zone defense tonight because of the absence of Salim Stoudemire. Do you like the zone? Did it work? Is that effective strategy now? I think it is an effective strategy. I, I think the Washington Huskies are going to be able to do a couple of different things out of that. I think Arizona, conversely, you know, they need to still be in transition, still push the basketball, and we'll see. 20 more minutes, who knows? Okay, can the Huskies stop Channing Fry in the second half? We will find out. Stay with us. We're coming back on Fox Sports Northwest. We're going to talk Pac-10 basketball when we return. Seventeenth ranked Arizona leading the Husky 42-41. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Marlowe and Jason Hamilton. Of course, the talk 
of the town in the Pac-10 Conference, the Stanford Cardinal, one of two undefeated teams in the nation. How good is Stanford? Uh, yeah, can they finish out undefeated? And they actually come up to Seattle, so that is going to be their big test. You know, and that's going to be a great game in Seattle, but you know what? Stanford is the real deal. They've got top-to-bottom leadership. They've got great players. Uh, there's a reason why they're number one. Yeah, Stanford certainly one of the great teams in the country, if not the best team in the country. Let's take a look at the updated uh, Pac-10 standings. You'll see how close everything is. Of course, Stanford on top, 14-0. They're going to win the regular season. But, of course, the Pac-10 tournament is everything. Then Arizona and Washington, followed by Oregon and Cal. Jason Hamilton, I ask you, how many teams from the Pac-10 do you think can make it into the NCAA tournament? Well, I think realistically probably three. Uh, I know across the country there's there's talk maybe four, but, you know, everything has to happen the right way for that to happen. Uh, obviously, people who are expected to win their conference tournament need to win. RPI plays into that as well. Now, remember, eight teams from the Pac-10 will make it into the tournament. Right now, Washington State and Arizona State on the outside looking in. So, as it would seed right now, Stanford and Arizona would be the top two seeds. Washington, three, four, five, and down the line. So, a lot of intrigue. Of course, if you can get on a roll, SC seems to be playing a little bit better now. Washington State, because of their tempo, always a threat and Washington can put up the big numbers. There's no team that can't be beaten. If someone could beat Stanford, anybody could win the Pac-10 tournament. Exactly, and you know, everyone right now is just fighting yeah. for that positioning. Those guys on the bottom, they are yeah. trying to get in, and once you get in, you never know. Oregon, of course, is an interesting team to talk about when they lost their point guard, Aaron Brooks. Uh, that really deflated their season, and there's a team that led Stanford uh, and should have beaten Stanford mm -hmm. and then fell flat. That's a team that's really trying to get its act together. Yeah, Luke Jackson really had a lot of pressure put on his yeah. shoulders. He's had a great senior year, probably the best player in the conference. Is he the Pac-10 player of the year? You know, I think he is. Okay. I think he's, uh, Ike Diago leads a, their team. Yep. They're on a losing team. Yeah. Oregon's 7-7 seven and seven right now. Okay. You know, I think he's the guy. Yeah, okay. Stanford with the balance. Josh Childress, Pac-10 player of the year candidate? Definitely, no question. Right. They missed those early games. At halftime, Huskies trailing by one. If you're looking at halftime highlights, you start with the big man, Channing Fry. He got them off to a great start. Yeah, it's been the Channing Fry show. He's had 16 points here in this first half, done it in a number of different ways, inside, outside, but just great post position, able to use that long body to get things done. Channing Fry with 16 first half points. And of course, for the Huskies, well, what can you say about Nate Robinson? Well, Nate Robinson's the guy that's got to keep them going. Three for three, or excuse me, three for seven from the long range. Trey Simmons doing some nice things from the outside as well. But, you know, the three ball is what's kept them in this game. Huskies attempted 23 pointers and made seven. The buzzer beater at the end of the first half, Adams. This is just sloppy play by the Huskies. Turning it over and Hassan Adams hits the three. We'll see if that is a big factor. That gave Arizona some momentum into the uh, uh, halftime locker room. Arizona shoots 53%. Washington, 44%. How about jacking up 23? That's a tremendous amount of Too threes. many? It, you know what? It, it probably is too many, but as long as they're going down, 7 of 20 is not a bad percentage. And, of course, points in the paint. Husky's going to have to do something about that. 16 of those points in the paint is probably Channing. Yeah, and I would imagine at the half, the Husky coaching staff and the players, they talk a lot about what they need to do to stop Channing Fry, whether they need to double down and get the ball out of his hands, make somebody else beat you. But what they're doing right now, trying to front the post, is not getting it done. All right, here we go. Start of the second half. Huskies won the first meeting in Seattle, 96-83. And the Huskies trying to sweep the Cats this year, and we've got an offensive foul. So an offensive foul called on Brandon Roy, and that's two on Brandon. And you have to wonder psychologically for the Huskies how bad that hurt to have that turnover to end the half, to come out right here, you turn it over again. Be anxious to see how they'll respond to that with so much time remaining in the game. Yeah, I think a lot uh, depends on these early uh, possessions for Arizona. Can uh, the Huskies get some stops? That's a near travel. Shakur playing with three fouls. 
That's an athletic matchup, Adams and Jones. Five to shoot, Robinson picks it off, just like he used to do as a quarterback, and Jones rams it home. You can't complete a pass on Nate Robinson. He was a starting quarterback. <laughs> Nate's, Nate's having some flashbacks of the old days. Washington with its second lead, 43-42. Adams offensive rebound, and he's fouled. How do you keep a springy guy off the glass? Hopefully you have another springy guy to match him. I think Bobby Jones is the closest Washington uh -huh. player that they have. As you see him running out in that last play, really getting up the floor, he can do those kinds of things. But defensively, he needs to be focused on Hassan Adams and not allowing him to do some, some damage on the glass. Uh, again, a long player, a guy that can, that can get above the yeah. rim. Have to get a little contact with him. No I would question. say that for sure. So Hassan Adams misses the first. Adams with 13. And now 14. So the Huskies will work against the zone of Arizona. Nice bounce in low. Robinson. Nate goes and gets it. And it's taken away. Iguodala, look out. Highlight reel. Andre Iguodala with the left hand. You know, that transition play was all set up by kind of the inconsistency on the offensive end for the Washington Huskies. They just weren't looking real crisp. They weren't making those crisp, clean passes. Great pass and the finish. Mike Jensen with a nifty look. And Roy now has six. And tied at 45. And just as I say that, a great look at right there by Mike Jensen. That's the kind of thing you need to do. you got to move the ball in the zone to find those gaps. Rodgers banging his way in. And he's going to pick up the foul on Will, Will Conroy. Yeah. Just a moment ago, Igor Dolly, you get him out there, it's a bucket. So Andre Igodala. And the Huskies right back. 45 all. Kind of a quiet spell here in the McHale Center. Not a lot of energy. Two teams, 45 apiece. I mean, they're halfway home to their, their scoring average, but kind of a, it'll be interesting yep. to see who takes complete advantage in these first few minutes, who can establish themselves offensively to kind of take control. Rodgers hits it. And the shot missed by Shakur. Robinson. Mustafa Shakur is not a good outside shooter. He's got a very funky looking jump shot, which they hope to change at the end of the year. 47 45. The crowd is antsy. They're a little concerned now about the Wildcats here. 47 45, our score. Igudala. Hassan Adams with another offensive rebound. Yeah, he is tough. The problem seemed to have shifted at, at the beginning was Channing Fry inside doing so much damage. So far in the second half, it's Hassan Adams using his abilities, and that's what he can do. He is such an athletic, gifted player. He can kill you on the offensive glass, and right now he's just using that tenacity to hurt the Huskies. Rodgers goes out, and the Cats uh, bring back Jason Rainey, who made his only three-pointer. They lobbed a Fry, and Jensen's got it. Wow, that's the easiest shot Channing Fry has had in his cat career and we've got a blocking foul conroy gets bailed out he was out of control but we saw rogers do that at the other end so i think if the official's going to call it one end you call it the other end and that's a good officiating that's a good officiating obviously four fouls on mustafa shakur wow brings chris rogers right back into the game no waste of time there they can't afford to have him pick up that fifth one and be out with 17 minutes to go. So perhaps part of the game plan of, of Lorenzo Romar and company is go right at Lute Olsen's point guard and get him in more foul trouble. And they have done that. So the Huskies with a big opportunity here. Starting point guard for the Cats is out. The starting shooting guard has been suspended. And Nate Robinson comes up with it. Jones, he's not much of an outside shooter. Iguodala over to Rodgers. And over the hand of Fry. Fry is down. It's five on three. Robinson calling for it. Nice pass. Rollins with the jam. 
And Washington has its biggest lead now, 49 to 45. And right now, Washington kind of exerting themselves a little bit. I know it's only a four-point lead, but they look the most comfortable in their offensive possessions. They have a big advantage now with Shakur on the bench. There's really nobody to check May Robinson. Huskies pressuring out. Channing Fry, and we've got a hold inside. So the Arizona coaches, the fans, encouraging the officials to call the hold inside. Who says officials and coaches don't, in, or excuse me, fans and coaches don't influence the decisions of the officials? First foul on Rollins. He goes out. Jensen back in. Now, now, Jen, now Rollins comes back in, and Jones goes out. So the two beefy players in for the Huskies. Huskies leading by four, their biggest. Igudala. And it's an offensive foul. Yeah, I think wow. what, what they did, they caught Arizona had that play set up where Hassan Adams was trying to get that backdoor lob. Yep. On the screen there, they picked up that offensive foul not being set. So the Huskies can extend their lead here. Boy, I tell you what, the Cats are very, very quick getting to those outlet passes. You have to be very careful, although that does leave up some room inside. And I think offensively, I like what the Huskies are doing, getting that ball to the high post with Brandon yeah. Roy, letting him make some decisions. Yeah, penetrate it inside the Huskies. Nicely done, Brandon Roy. He had a career high, 30 against UCLA. Adams, shot blocked. Huskies on the run, 51-45. Roy Travel. So the Huskies turn it over. Lorenzo Romar clapping though, saying, guys, that's exactly what we need to do. Keep pushing the ball, keep putting the pressure on Arizona's defense to have to stop us. In that situation, they stopped themselves, but a good rhythm, a good tempo. Turnover is just about even. Turnovers really haven't been the factor in this one. Another long ball, and Iguodala is shooting very poorly from the perimeter. Underneath, shot blocked, but a foul. So Channing Fry is going to receipt for his second foul. That's two on Fry. A nice breakdown, dribble drive penetration by Will Conroy getting into the lane. Hakeem Rollins right there to receive that pass. And the crowd doesn't like it, but he might have got a little contact with the body. Oh, that's a bad call. <laughs> that's a bad call. Channing Fry, all ball, I thought. So Rollins at the line. Rollins, a poor free throw shooter at 58%. Had a terrible game. No points, no rebounds, 16 minutes. As Trey Simmons comes back in. So Rollins has three, and you get the feeling that the momentum now is with the Huskies. An interesting substitution right there. Trey Simmons coming for Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy has been kind of a focal point of the offense. They've been running everything through him. Trey Simmons has got to be that guy now. Just a moment ago, Hakeem Rollins with the flush. Luke doesn't like that. 53-45, Huskies on top. It's been an interesting second half. Mustafa Shakur picked up his fourth personal, so he had to go out. Salim Stoudemire suspended, unable to play. And how have the Huskies gotten those momentum, Jason? Well, they just done it in transition. Great transition players. I think we talked about Brandon Roy, his ability to create yeah. in the zone, kind of freeing up his teammates. But also for Arizona, they just haven't got Channing Fry the touches. He's had 16 in the first half, hasn't scored so far in the second half. Arizona, a 14-point favorite coming in. They trail by eight at the moment. 15 and a half minutes to play. Still time for a comeback. Huskies paying a lot of attention to Channing Fry. 
The Wildcat outside shooting has not been good, particularly from Andre Iguodala. Iguodala taking a lot of shots from distance. And if that continues, that's a great trend for Washington. You see Jason Rainey back in the game trying to kind of quell that, that place for the Arizona Wildcats. If he gets free, he's going to shoot that basketball. Iguodala only one of six. Rainey for three off the heel. Robinson on the break. Robinson blows by Rainey, lay it up no, but a foul. So Nate Robinson, originally on a football scholarship, of course, if you're around the Northwest, you know about that. He started six games as a quarterback in 2002. His dad's sensational. As you see, Salim Stoudemire, a fight or an altercation with a teammate, and so he's suspended. And you look at the game that Nate had, 20 in the second half. And there's just no way to stop this guy. I'm not so certain that Celine didn't want any part of that again. <laughs> That's a 31-point so you, you don't think down. he was? <laughs> you don't think he was suspended? He just sat this one out <laughs> because he didn't want to didn't want to deal with Nate Robinson. 54-45 as the Huskies, who trailed by a point at halftime, have really lengthened it out here. They lead by 10, and the crowd is silent, stunned silence here at the McHale Center. This zone has been very effective without Shakur to penetrate, without Stoudemire to knock down threes. A 10-point advantage from distance, and Rodgers hits. Arizona is a good shooting team, not a great shooting team from the outside, but you're going to give up a few of those if you remain in that three, in the, excuse me, in the zone, but you got to know that going into it. Seven for Rodgers. And Jensen is held by, no, he pushed off. Let's see, Jensen pushed off. The entry pass was poor. It was too low, and Jensen struggling to retrieve it commits the foul. So the third foul on Big Mike Jensen from Covington, Washington. Of course, all the fans up in Covington watching this one tonight to see their boy. 55-48, crowd comes alive. And with that last three-pointer and a turnover, you got to expect Chris Rogers again to take it. There he goes. Three. He got it again. You got to pay attention to him. He's one of the best in the Pac-10. 55-51, a four-point advantage. He'll test the poise of the Huskies now. Conroy against Rainey. Conroy for three. Back to Conroy. Rollins, Conroy again for three, and he nails it. Boy, Will Conroy, you haven't seen this guy play. He is so valuable. And I tell you, those are two huge shots that Will Conroy took. The first one I thought was way too early, especially with the momentum, the way that it was shifting. To have the guts to go back and do it again and knock it down, wow. Rodgers just made two threes. You know what they say, long shot, long rebound. Hassan Adams, you talk about high arts. Whoa, Hassan Adams hits, and suddenly it's 54, make that 58-54. Conroy, shot blocked. Cats on the run. Iguodala. Robinson comes out with it. Huskies ever slow it down, set it up? Only if they're in trouble. <laughs> Robinson. Too strong. Jensen with a rebound. So Washington is blocked out of bounds. It's going to be Husky basketball. No fear in the eyes of the Huskies. Well, I tell you, I had them earlier this year when they were kind of working through some of the concerns, the new guys against San Diego State as Jensen goes out. Jones and Rollins, the big man. This is a completely different team now in terms of confidence. Yeah, we talked about that after the Oregon State game, how they just blossomed after yeah. that. But this is a team right now that the reason that they don't ever really slow it down is because they feel like they can score every yeah. possession. I don't know if that's necessarily smart, but they know that that's what they can do. Robinson elevates, air ball. So the Huskies have gone cold after leading by 10. Ivan Radinovich is in. Teams have figured out how to play Radinovich. He's a spot-up shooter. And when he puts the ball on the ground, they try to rake it out of his hands now, so he hasn't been playing as much. But if you give him room, he can hit the jumper. Washington lead is four. Fry, double pump, and the Huskies clear. 
this would be a great opportunity for the Huskies to slow it down, get something that they really want, work the shot clock, come up with a big score here to extend this lead, kind of get this crowd back out of it. Curtis Allen is in, shooting 36% from distance. Robinson. Rollins gets it. Hakeem Rollins, the junior from Mesa. Played for Alton Lister. You remember the former Arizona State star? Huskies steal it. Jones. And he lays it up and in. Uh, awkward steps. Don't know if he traveled there, but Washington gets it anyway. And that was not what you would call a textbook fast break <laughs> opportunity. But nonetheless, Bobby Jones makes the creative play to get the, get the job done. We've dipped under 11 and a half minutes to play. 62-54. The Husky lead back up to eight. And Fry is pushed. Now, Channing Fry, you can see the frustration on his face right now. He's not getting the ball. And uh, because of good Husky defense, he's an angry man. Well, this is where Mustafa Shakur's absence really hurts them. Channing Fry is getting good position down low, but he doesn't have that point guard that's really looking to give him the ball. Uh, Rainey, Rogers, those guys got to do a better job of knowing that their big man is working hard and give him a few touches. So Fry at the free throw line. Lou Dawson talking to one of his stars, Hassan Adams. Fry is an outstanding free throw shooter. 76 and a half percent. He nails it. Kenny Fry got another year left. Isaiah Fox will be back next year, 6'10, 260 after the knee injury. And virtually everybody else back for the Cats. These will be two of the better teams in the nation next year, I would expect, both Arizona and Washington. So Fry makes a couple. He's got 18. And the textbook fast break pays off. We're coming back. Lorenzo Romar, of course, uh, a great point guard in his uh, time, and his uh, trusty assistant Cameron Dollar, one of the stars of that UCLA team. And if you're training guards, you've got some uh, good mentors there. You definitely do. I had an opportunity to play against Cameron Dollar. I think he's done tremendous work with the with the guard rotation. Will Conroy, Nate Robinson, really showing them how to be floor leaders. Curtis Allen has come on for the Huskies. Huskies lead it by six. Roy blocked off. Wide open is Jones. Boy, he missed that badly. And the Cats out on the break. There goes Iguodala, and reaching in is Jones. So that's bad news. I believe that's three. Make that four unofficially on Bobby Jones. Boy, Jones, that's a bad foul for him. You can't reach in. Let him go. Nope. Let him go there. And again, like you said, four fouls, a tough position to put your front court in. Mike Jensen coming back. But Bobby Jones has been known to do that in situations and games this year where He's made an offensive play, tried to make a, a defense play to return to it, and it's kind of compounded both of those things. Four on Jones. The sad guy you saw for Arizona, that was Mustafa Shakur, who's on the bench with four. When do you bring Shakur back in? I think you have to wait. You have to wait probably how far? How far? Four minutes. Four I think, minutes, yeah, okay. I think uh, with a game this close, no All team right. has really taken that big lead. You have some time. Lou Olsen's been here before with many players. The Huskies can bang it up to 10 again. We might see Shakur a little bit earlier. Huskies are pressing out now on defense. This is a great matchup for Brandon Roy. He's got Rainey on him. Jensen drops step, and he'll shoot two. So Mike Jensen, earlier in the year, he was not putting up the numbers with the coaches at home, but he seems like he's blossomed a little as Walters. Uh, he's just not strong enough to handle Jensen in that low post. There's no question that's a mismatch for Mike Jensen. He, like we talked about in the open, he doesn't necessarily have the offensive skills down on the post, but he's getting there. And uh, against a guy like Radinovich, he needs to take advantage. Radinovich and Walters, the big men, in as Channing Fry gets the rest. Jensen makes two. Now, Hassan Adams is going to come back, and Shakur languishing on the bench, number 15, one of the great young point guards in America, saddled with four fouls. The question is, when do you bring him back? You got to, you know, I still think you got to wait. Yep. Lou Dolson and I had a great conversation before the game talking about Mustafa Shakur's growth. He still feels like he's going to be one of the best point guards to come out of here, and that's saying a lot considering the legacy of point oh, guards yeah. at the University of Arizona. Steve Kerr, Bibby, Jason Terry, a whole bunch. 
Hassan Adams getting the rack. He was very effective early. It kind of gotten away from him. And a little volleyball over to Jensen. So the Huskies. Jim McLaughlin, the volleyball coach up there. He teaches that little touch pass there. Trey Simmons hits. So Trey Simmons has been clutch off the bench. He's got 13. And with 10 minutes remaining, 66-60. When Brandon Roy went out of the game, we said Trey Simmons has got to step up. Now both players are, are in together. Trey Simmons getting it done. Radinovich, this is the kind of shot he can make. Iguodala has it stolen by Simmons. Let's see what Simmons does with it. Right by his man. Come underneath and score! Trey Simmons coast to coast. It's like a young Marlowe handling that ball. <laughs> Rebound, steal it, take it coast to coast. Duke can dive. I see, I tell you what, a nice little inside outside crossover move using his body to kind of shield himself to get that ball on the glass. That's a great play for Trey Simmons, who's not necessarily known as a guy that's going to break you down, but more or less spot up on the perimeter and come off screens. Unbelievable play there. Channing Fry back in. Trey Simmons, we mentioned that he had two 50-point games in junior college. Rollins had it, and he's fouled. So the Huskies with the offensive rebound and the Arizona players. Well, I tell you what. A lot of complaining by not only Lute Olson but the Arizona fans. They're just being outplayed at the moment. Yeah, I think they're frustrated. I yeah. think this is a frustrating season for them. They're not used to being 17 and 7. They're not used to being in this position. But they're a young team. Uh, obviously, the hits they've taken uh, with some injuries and uh, some transfers is going to take a toll on your program. But th it's a commendable job by their coaching staff to keep these guys yeah. in the hunt. Not been the season that the Cats had hoped for. Hakeem Rollins, he has been solid. So Rollins scores again. Rollins has got eight. Balance Husky scoring. 70 to 60, lead balloons to 10. And Chris, you mentioned when the lead gets to 10, will yeah. Lute Olsen get a little nervous and start to bring Mustafa Shakur off? got to put him back in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I bring him back in right now, and I keep Channing Fry in as much as he can play. He's got two fouls. Rudinovich. Out to Rogers, you have to guard him. He pulls up for three, clanks it, and easily Channing Fry. So Fry's got to go and get it because he's not getting many entry passes. Simmons feeling it, and his shot is blocked, and the Cats come away with it. So it's an eight-point advantage. Fry. Shot blocked the third by Hakeem Rollins on Channing Fry. Rollins running with it. Throws it away. Fry saves it. Out of bounds. Good idea by Curtis Allen. He just couldn't thread the needle. Huskies caught a break there not by, by not turning that basketball over. But a great job there by Hakeem Rollins playing his man, letting him come by, picking up his third block, I believe, of the ball game, and a big one right there. So Rollins, given the task of defending... One of the greats in the Pac-10, Simmons, nails it. Trey Simmons gets a deuce, I believe, and it's 72-62. Approaching the eight and a half minute mark, Huskies on top. And I've seen Trey Simmons enough time this year to know when he gets that quick flick release, chances are it's bottom. In low to Fry, Fry double. Up there, there's a guy behind us, a Cats fan. You might be able to hear him. He's about to have apoplexy. Iguodala, and Iguodala off the window. Andre Iguodala, that's what he does best, slash to the goal. There's no question, when Andre Iguodala can get to the rim, he's going to be the most effective. He took a lot of bad threes early in the game, but that's what he needs to do. For, the, for Arizona to have a chance right now, it's a great screen by Channing Fry. Releases, kind of gets Hakeem Rollins pulling off him. Able to get his lane to the basket and use that athleticism. Third foul on Roy. Iguodala, an improving free throw shooter at 76%. 72-65. The Cats playing catch up at the moment. Robinson. Now Anthony Washington is in. Washington against Fry. Let's see if they go for the third foul. And it's an offensive foul as Channing Fry takes the charge. So part of the game plan, attack Channing Fry. Didn't work that time. Yeah, I think Anthony Washington a little overzealous right there, trying to get something good going back in his way. And maybe a little flop job right there. Husky still up by seven.
Seven minutes, 59 seconds to go. Washington leading Arizona 72-65. The Huskies haven't swept Arizona in the season series since February 11th, 1984. Marv Harshman was the coach 20 years ago. And right now, Lorenzo Romar has his team poised. Hey, they're sitting in a really good position right now. Eight minutes to go. No, no need to panic right now. Run your offense crisply. Get great shots. But you got to block, block out on the offensive glass. Along with Jason Hamilton, I'm Chris Marlowe. Sellout crowd. Huskies trail by one at the break and then uh, came out firing in the second half, built the lead up to 10. It was cut back to six. It went up to 10 again at 70 to 60, and now the Cats fighting back. It's a seven point advantage. Mustafa Shakur still on the bench with four fouls. You might look for a set play coming out of this break right here, a long timeout, maybe some, some kind of lob situation. Stolen by the Huskies. The Huskies had it pinned. Robinson got it. Oh, what a defensive stab by Brandon Roy. They read the play the whole way. That's just great anticipation. So much for the set play coming out of the timeout, huh? Well, they, they scouted the set play. They <laughs> saw the set play. 18 points for Roy. Down low, Fry. Channing Fry coming up short. Washington rebounds. 74-65, a nine-point advantage. Now Conroy will handle it outside. Huskies will run the pick and roll. Jensen, along the base, he's in trouble. Washington, it's going to be a hell, hell ball, a hell ball in the possession arrow, Cats will have it. So Romar saying, look, big fella, calm down. That's not what we want you to do. And Mike Jensen just completely out of control right there, had nowhere to go with the basketball, tried to create a play but obviously throwing the ball at Anthony Washington's feet, a seven-footer trying to bend down, that's not a good play. All right, here we go. At the seven-minute mark, back comes Mustafa Shakur. Let's see how the game revolves around Mustafa now. Adams getting in the lane, he's held. Adams can get in the lane of any team in the nation. He's so quick. So they call the foul on Mike Jensen and the Husky uh, foul problems mounting now. He has four. Jones has four, Roy has three. And the Huskies with, well, they have over 10 team fouls, and so it's the double bonus the rest of the way. As we mentioned, Arizona, a fabulous free throw shooting team at 77%. That's about the highest team average I've heard in quite some time. Yeah, that's a great team average from the free throw line. The Huskies have to be careful not picking up ticky-tack fouls like the one right there, a hand check, you know, 18, 20 feet away from the basket that's going to send uh, Mike Jensen with his fourth foul and then Hassan Adams to the line. Adams, Adams makes a couple. So Hassan Adams now has 21. Salim Stoudemire suspended indefinitely, can only watch and shake his head. He wish he was in there pumping that three ball. Simmons back to Roy. Huskies haven't got much penetration lately. The Cat defense has picked up a little bit. Simmons. Plenty of time to shoot. 10 on the clock. Simmons in the lane. Dish. Rollins wasn't ready for it. Tries to jam it up. It's blocked. And the retrieval. The heads up play by Brandon Roy. And I tell you what, a huge offensive play right there for the Washington Huskies. They ran clock. They got a good situation. They've been running that kind of curl route pretty much the whole year and came up with a big play there. Channing Fry got hit in the mouth. He may have a little blood. They're going to look at it. Sometimes when you have that mouth guard in, if you get hit on the outside, it can split a lip. And so bad news for Cat fans, but if you're a Husky fan, you like to see Fry going to the bench. So they'll have to... Uh, Let's see where he got it. And that looked like a foul right there. And he picks up an elbow in the nose. So they'll attend to Fry. They got to get him back in there. 6.13 to go. Can the Huskies do it? They lead by nine.
So a 6-10 to play. Washington by nine. Shakur back in. Mustafa Shakur shot blocked but a foul. So it's going to be a lot of free throw shooting down the stretch here for both teams. Now Shakur will go to the line and have a couple. And a pretty aggressive play by Shakur having four fouls to take that into the lane. You never know a guy sliding up underneath. You could get an offensive charge foul called right there and he'd be done for the evening. But uh, going up against Nate Robinson, they're using his size to his advantage, getting to the rim. Shakur, 81%. And he rattles it home. Of course, replacing Jason Gardner at the point, uh, no easy task. Living up to the the legacy of the point guards. That's the first point tonight from Mustafa Shakur. Mustafa from Philadelphia, and he gets two. So now the Cats, uh, full court pressure, and they forget to cover Nate Robinson. 76-69, lay it up and in, Trey Simmons. So Simmons having one of the great games of his young career, the assist to Robinson. Simmons got 19. Shakur and Mustafa. Mustafa's bad. He simmered on the bench for 12 minutes. He had a long time to look to see what the trends were in the game. He said, when I get back in this ball game, I'm going to attack. Pick and roll. Rollins, no. Cats have it. Rodgers. Iguodala. Iguodala's had a poor shooting game. Bounce in low. Adams got it. And one. So Arizona showing a little patience that time, and they get a great shot and a chance for a traditional three. Yeah, ha Hakeem Rollins, the only one uh, of the big fellas kind of in the box. Brandon Roy and Trey Simmons trying to cover that area, but Has Hassan Adams using his strength to get that up on the glass to get the and one foul. Channing Fry is back in. And Lorenzo Romar is going to have to come back in with Mike Jensen, I think, here pretty soon. Fry had the tip. Fry's got it! Channing Fry tipping. So Channing Fry has got 22, and the Cats are within three. Timeout, Washington. Now Channing Fry, he is so important to this Arizona team. When he's in the game playing his best and getting touches, they are quite the team. And mark that on your book right there. A huge turn of events. Hassan, Abin, Hassan Adams misses the free throw. Channing Fry just kind of finagling his way in there, using those long arms to get that ball, just keeping it active, keeping it active, and he is pumped up. To all your friends, the Cats are on a run. That's Ricky Barnes. He's a PGA golfer in town for the tournament. We're at Dome. Former Wildcat and a one-time U.S. Amateur champion. Channing Fry leading the way. First half, 16 points. Second half, he's been bottled up. So let's see how the Huskies handle it. Up by three. Bounce in low. Roy, shot blocked. And all the momentum with Arizona at the moment. Shakur, got it! Mustafa Shakur. Huskies need a basket desperately. And that's the third consecutive play where Mustafa Shakur has taken that ball off the dribble drive. No fear, headed to the rim. Who's going to take the big shot for the Huskies? Crowd roaring. Huskies need one right here. Roy, over to Conroy. Missed it. And it's Wildcat ball. This game is by no means out of the reach of the Huskies. They're still in it. What they need to do right now is just be calm, be confident in what their offense brings, not panic, not take too many quick shots, because right now the momentum is all on Arizona's, Arizona's side right now. And I think you got to back off Shakur a little bit. Iguodala! And it's a charge all the way. Wow. Andre Iguodala standing in was Bobby Jones. First foul on Andre Iguodala. Look at this. And I tell you what, if you're Bobby Jones, goodness gracious, God bless you, because to stand underneath that one, Andre Iguodala can bring the hammer. 
78-77 Washington. 4-10 to play. Arizona now has Iguodala guarding Nate Robinson. And clearly that's a mismatch on the perimeter, but it's a great move defensively. He's a bigger guy that can get his hand up, not let, let Nate try to shoot anything from the three-point land. Husky offense has gone dead. Simmons, no. Tip Rollins, yes. Hakeem Rollins whacking it through. So Washington goes back up by three. Rudenovich on the move, he hits it. Ivan Rudenovich, his first basket. What a game. 80-79 Huskies. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. We're going down to the wire. I like the defensive strategy of Lute Olsen. Conroy, double. Rollins, Hakeem Rollins for president as he banks another one in. I tell you what, Hakeem Rollins, not the go-to guy that you'd expect, but two possessions now. in a row. He is now. It's an 82-78 lead, and Simmons nearly had the steal. And I tell you what, the Washington bench wanted that little push-off. Trey Simmons kind of had that basketball. Yeah. Just a moment ago, Hakeem Rollins defending and getting it. Huskies still lead. Stay with us. Two seventy-nine, a three-point advantage with just under three minutes to play. What a ball game this has been. High scoring, athletic, entertaining. Now Simmons on Iguodala outside. You see Washington that man-to-man -man, trying to play that help side defense with Channing Fry. They're definitely trying to look to him for some easy touches inside. Rollins covering Fry. Four on the shot clock. Shakur Radinovich missed it. Iguodala with a follow. Cats pulled it within one. Trey Simmons has got to recognize Iguodala is an athletic player that wants to crash the glass. Simmons for three. He's got it. Trey Simmons launches the tray. Trey's got 22. So Simmons coming up big. Simmons has got a new career high. Out to Radinovich. Missed that one offline. Rebound Channing Fry. Throw it up. And in. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, this has been a game of runs. Counter punching, counter punching. Trey Simmons here in the corner. You know that quick release, that perfect form, that nice rotation, splish flash that's going down. But Channing Fry too much on the inside right there. Kind of the acrobatic play. Will Conroy sticks a hand in, gets the and one. I tell you what, that's where you have to make your fouls count. You can't let him take the shot. You got to clobber, you got to wrap him up like Shaq. No question. Fry is huffing and puffing. Will it affect his free throw structure? Remember, he's an outstanding free throw shooter at 76.5%. And he drops it home. Huskies hanging on by one. Minute 50 to play. Washington traditionally likes to go to Brandon Roy in these situations. They like that wheel motion off the screens. Robinson has been stopped up. He throws it away. Iguodala has come alive. It's a one-point lead. Hassan Adams in and out. Iguodala, and it's Wildcat ball. So Washington not boxing out. And Lorenzo Romar calling the defense. And we've got a 30-second timeout taken by the Cats. I tell you, two things here. Defensive rebounding down the stretch is going to be such a huge key. We've seen Channing Fry and Andre Iguodala slip in there and get a chance to get offensive rebound, put back second chance points. But offensively for Washington, the decision for Arizona to go with a bigger player on Nate Robinson has had a great effect. Nate Robinson right there, a big turnover. 
1999, a great game. The Huskies getting the jam, but Arizona coming back in the end. Jason Terry and the tip at the buzzer. And I tell you, that's a heartbreaking loss right there. Richard Jefferson being in the right place at the right time, kind of looking up in the crowd like, I knew it was coming the whole way. Heartbreaking loss for Washington. Will it be another heartbreaker for the Huskies? 124 to play. Lou Olson's team has gotten some momentum. It's 85-84 Huskies. Fans are on their feet here. Cats have only lost once this year at McHale. That was Stanford, of course. Shakur out to Fry for three. Missed it. Simmons gets the rebound. Boy, I don't think you want Channing Fry shooting a three ball there, do you? And Washington takes time out. And a great time out there by Lorenzo Romar. Get your guys composed. You're up one, a minute six. 31 seconds to go on the shot clock. Make sure everybody knows exactly what they want to do. But defensively, the Huskies played a great last sequence there to get a great stop and a shot that they really wanted. Channing Fry has only attempted four three-pointers all season. He's made two, but I don't think you want that shot. I tell you what, Mike Jensen does a great job the whole time staying with this man. Channing Fry is really working hard. He wants the basketball. Mike Jensen breaking contact, not letting anything go over the top, not playing with his hands, using his body very, very well, giving up absolutely nothing. The pick and roll doesn't seem to work. Channing Fry pops out. I think you live with that. You live with that. And I think Jensen is really the key. He's got four fouls. Can he stay in this game? Because he's the best post defender on Channing Fry. Let's reset for you. 106 to go. Washington by one, 85-84. And the Huskies have the ball. Roy. Underneath. And the shot is blocked, but a foul. Channing Fry says, not me. Could have been Hassan Adams. A Adams is right there. They're going to call it on Adams. I thought so. And Washington has used this play numerous times out of timeouts throughout the year. They like to isolate Brandon Roy one on one. Use, let him use his athletic ability. He hasn't had Channing Fry though in most games to come up near him to take that block. Two big shots for Brandon Roy. A 78% free throw shooter. Roy's got 11. Now coming back in is Bobby Jones. So they bring Jones in for defense, take Trey out to rest his, the golden arm. And that's a great substitution. Good coaching there by Washington. Offense, defense, substitution. Get, get Bobby Jones in a position where he can go to the glass. He can block out Iguodala or Hassan Adams and get a big rebound. We're under a minute, and the Huskies lead by three. Now the question for the Cats, do they take the three ball and take it inside? It's stolen by Bobby Jones. And he's out of bounds. So the Huskies with a near steal. Lorenzo Romar so close he can taste it. I tell you what, great defensive work there by Bobby Jones. The possession isn't over, though. 52 seconds to go. Rodgers to tie. Missed it. Rebound. Fought for. And coming down with it is Brandon Roy. Now the Cats. Do you foul? They are down by three. 40 seconds to play. 10-second differential in shot clock and game clock. you got to play this possession straight up. Roy over to Conroy. 15 to shoot. Conroy, Jensen, and Jensen will pick up. That's a charge on Jensen. And that's going to be it for Mike Jensen. Wow. I tell you what, this is where Mike Jensen has to recognize where the defender is. He has an opportunity to take that short pull-up jumper. Instead, he tries to take it all the way to the rack. They got a great situation, a switch off, which is exactly what you want. And Mike Jensen is a good shooter when he's able to step out and knock it down. Tough break for the Huskies. Now they got to play defense. So Jensen has fouled out. And the Huskies with a three-point lead, 24 seconds to play. Hassan Adams with tremendous defensive posture there as you look at Jensen let's check the numbers on Jensen he fouled out with four points but he was impressive the last sweep once again 1984 the Huskies just 2 and 29 in the desert 1 and 14 with Arizona 1 and 15 with Arizona State and Lorenzo Romar knows maybe that 
postseason may count on this win. And I look for Arizona to try to take this ball right to the rim. Go for that two for one. 87-84, Huskies by three. 13 seconds. Fry. Fry pulls up. Missed it. Huskies have it. They got to foul them now. They don't. Huskies. Hakeem Rollins and the Huskies are going to upset the Arizona Wildcats. The Cats have stopped playing. It's a shocker, folks. The Huskies have done it. They have won in the McHale Center for the first time since 1996. A shocker. What a win for Lorenzo Romar, Ken Bone, Cameron Dollar, and Russ Shaney. And I'm not quite clear what Arizona was doing on that last possession. They needed a three, didn't they? Or a quick, a quick bucket. Right now, I'm completely stunned. Arizona almost, like you said, they quit in that last position. I totally expected them to try to take something right to the basket. If they didn't get it foul right away, but not kind of waste the clock down, leaving Channing Fry to take a shot. And then they basically just gave up. Let's give you the scoring. Washington, Robinson had 18. Trey Simmons in the best game of his young career had 22. Hakeem Rollins, career high, had 15. Roy had 12. What a performance by the Washington Huskies. Great defense by Jensen. For Arizona, Adams had 23. Fry with 25, but he missed two crucial jumpers at the end. Iguodala with 11. Rodgers with 10. What a win. One of the biggest in Washington Husky program. Trey Simmons, the casino son, player of the game. He scores a career high and hits some big shots down the stretch. And I tell you what, when Trey Simmons gets it going early, you got to know he's going to have it going late. That sweet stroke of his, he did it in a number of different ways, outside, inside, which he's not accustomed to doing. But such a huge game. He stepped up big. And there is no question, this is one of the biggest wins for the Husky program by far. So Washington sweeps Arizona for the first time since 1984. We hope you enjoyed it. Once again, the final score, the Huskies upset 17th-ranked Arizona in McHale Center, 89-84.